Just imagine driving down the road, enjoying the day, and out of the blue, your car just stops working. You take it to your local mechanic, and he tells you the culprit is rats, and it's going to cost you thousands. They'll crawl up inside, make a nest, because I've had to open up plenty of nests. They make a nest, they stay there, and for some reason, they were attracted to the plastic on the wiring. We were sent these photos from FAU student Victoria Monsov, who told us her brand new car was parked in the student dorms lot at FAU. When she went to turn the engine, her car wouldn't start, so she had it towed to a nearby shop. She was shocked when a mechanic told her rats had been nibbling on the wires in her engine. And the price tag to repair the car was in the thousands. And Victoria wasn't alone. Her post on an FAU Facebook group prompted nearly 30 responses from concerned parents and students who had experienced similar issues. And these students told me there are other pesky critters to blame. Iguanas, raccoons. The squirrels get in and out of the trash cans constantly. There's always <laughs> these holes right on the top of them. They're pulling stuff out. They they're, all, they're all pretty friendly. But rats in cars isn't unique to FAU. Mechanic Brian Smalls has seen his fair share. How many I've, cars with rat problems have you done? I've probably done approximately 30 Man. over the years. In fact, he repaired one just last week. When we pulled the back seat, we found three dead rats, and uh, the wiring was all chewed, and positive and negatives have met with each other, so it blew the fuses. I should go check my car. There are ways to rat-proof your car, though, with an assortment of traps, poisons, and moving or starting your car daily. In Boca Raton, Tony Velasquez Jr., WPBF 25.